Now we're here, right? That this climate change thing is bringing with it a mob ton of challenges. But what I really need to know is how to deal with it. And they got different ways of going about it. They got mitigation and adaptation options. But then words long like the bike line on a Friday. And the only people that know what their words mean is scientists that read the dictionary for fun. So let me break this down together. Mitigation. That's like when you eat healthy, take your vitamins, get enough exercise to make sure that your immune system strong and your body perking to cope with any diseases and to deal with the wear and tear of life. This is, you know, preventative measures where we try to hit right at the source of climate change. We're talking about the reduction or even elimination of greenhouse gas emissions. Adaptation though, that's like when you don't get the cold, body starting to get a little run down and you gotta go to the doctor, take tests by medication, do all sorts of things to try and help you to cope with the things that you're already going through. So adaptation options, these are things we do to cope with the impacts that we are already feeling and putting things in place to cope with future impacts. But in this video, we want to look specifically at adaptation options. Here are some of the options. To deal with the destructive erosion associated with sea level rise, we can use stricter enforcement of town planning regulations like what's found in the Coastal Zone Management Act. This sea level rise, when coupled with the storm surge associated with high energy events, can cause serious impacts. So the construction of multi-purpose structures like the Richard Haynes boardwalk on the south coast can help to reduce physical impact while having economic value. They provide a barrier, stopping the coast from getting mashed up, plus it's an amenity for recreation and business. Businesses set up there, people go walk up and down, get exercise, it's good for everybody. Then they got the alternative, you know the thing that people don't necessarily rush to do habitat protection and restoration. These are things like marine protected areas and coral reef rehabilitation. You see, we can use these strategies to protect our reefs and in turn, the reefs protect our coastlines. They reduce the incident wave energy and help to stop erosion. It's work like a speed bump. It's basically slow down the wave before they hit the coastline. But I think, right, that the most important adaptation options are those targeted towards the management of our water resources. Now I know, right, that the predictions for reduced rainfall can have a big impact on our available water resources. And we're feeling it already. I mean, people are already going without water. And with limited rainfall, the provision of a sustainable supply, it can get really tricky. So to ensure that we maximize supply and that people could get water, strategies like rain and storm water catchment can be really helpful. Or we could try check dams, where instead of letting the surface water flood out the place and then run off to sea, we could barricade it, slow down the flow and let it build up so we can use the water for our own purposes or leave it and let it soak through the ground and fill up our aquifers. But did you know that 80% of our rainwater is lost as surface runoff? You ever see how whole town is flood? That's real water. We could be capturing that instead of letting it run off to sea. You can let all that water waste. You know how much different ways they got to capture that water. You could let it run off the roof and capture it in a drum. Or you could dig a hole in the ground, line it and let the water build up there. Or you could even use the check downs that I talked about before. And we could do these things we sell. Don't wait for a government, it's we water. I mean, we could never have a plaster for every sewer, but these adaptation options can really help to soften the blow of climate change to come in the future. But remember, Granny used to say, prevention, better than cure, and the early bird is get the sweetest flower. If we want to reap the full benefits of these adaptation options, we need to start working on implementation and sustainable management plans in the near future. But you know, there's a lot to be said about our individual actions. The simple things done around the household, by you, by me, by the 200 and something thousand other Bajans, these things can really help us to manage the water resource issues that we're bound to have. But these are only some of the things that we can do to cope with climate change. If you want to learn more about them, go and check out these links.